losses in Racine and Milwaukee are being felt by fellow officers all across the country, but especially in southeastern Wisconsin. Amanda Quintana has more on how people are reacting to these tragedies today. Amanda? Yes, well, to hear that two officers died in just one night was shocking for many. Jim Palmer with the Wisconsin Professional Police Association got emotional talking about these deaths, pointing out that Officer Herr had just began his career serving for just two years while Officer Hetland was within a few months of retirement. Hetland served on the WPPA board for more than 12 years and often talked about his plans to spend more time with his kids. As tragic as it is, I think the fact that John acted in the way that he did and under, under those circumstances when he was off duty um, speaks a lot uh, to his character and I think it's also very reflective of who officers are. Palmer says Hetland's death will technically be considered a line of duty death since the actions he took are consistent with his law enforcement authority. He says that instinct to help is not something that turns off when an officer isn't in uniform. Madison Police Chief Mike Koval tells us once funeral d details are arranged, he's sure MPD will send a delegation from the Honor Guard to pay their respects and assist in any way that they can to make sure that those Milwaukee officers can attend the funerals. Yeah, certainly a lot of factors involved in this and very scary for officers, I'm sure. All right, Amanda, thank you so much. So in reaction